Hey everybody, it's Dilvzy, and I'm here with another Living Dead Dolls vlog. Now this doll is one that I've had for a few weeks, and I'm just getting around to doing a vlog about it now, because I've been kind of like in a very low frame of mind for the past few weeks, because, you know, winter just sucks ass, and this has been the worst winter in Canada for like 25 years or something, and yeah, and it's still not ending, even though tomorrow's the first day of spring technically, Tell that to Mother Nature. You know, I'd like to send this doll after Mother Nature, truth be told, because she is one cruel bitch. Anyway, enough about that. So the doll I bought is one that was ridiculously priced from the get-go, okay? Uh, it's the ring doll, Sadako. And uh, I saw it on Big Bad Toy Store for like 80-something bucks when it was just pre-order so like and it's on ebay for like high high prices but when i saw this deal it was on amazon.ca and she was only 32.99 from a vendor that was through amazon called toink i think it's pronounced i'm not sure but yeah so i couldn't resist i had to have her so this is imported from japan so it's not in english anywhere on the box well there is like some english words you'll see when i show you the chipboard but yeah, so she came in a coffin, which is the best thing when they come in the coffins, right? But as you can see here, that's not in English. See, it's, uh, it says Mezco, but then that part, it's got like a Chinese skew. Sorry, Japanese, not Chinese. I apologize. And then the website, mamagiori.co.jp. So here's the chipboard, okay? It just says, Living Dead Dolls Presents something 3D. I'm assuming that's a Sadako. I'm not sure. But yes, yeah, so it's regular red tissue paper. And without further ado, let me show you Sadako. I'm going to have her with her hair all covered first so that you can see. I'm going to bring this over here to a different area because there's more light. So when she came... She had a clear plastic headband to keep her hair from being in her face, right? But I have her displayed with her hair just hanging all in her face because, you know, that's part of the charm, right? So there you go. I'm going to show you. Her hair makes it look like it is wet and dirty and grimy, and it does feel really nice. It's very, very sleek. Okay, and then she's wearing a white, a white, uh, what do you call that, nightgown? which is covered in mud and grime okay and then her feet are also covered in grime but you see it only goes oops it only goes up to there and then her legs are the rest and it's, she's a very pale grayish blue color almost the same color as my Krampus doll but not quite and as you can see her hands are all bloody and muddy okay and oops, see her from behind oh lord I'm just dropping her everywhere so from behind same thing her hair just looks really crusty and now I just got stuff on that which I will have to take off so now let's look at her face I'm gonna put her hair back here Hopefully you'll be able to see the details. Oh, look, her head moves very, very nice and fluid. Okay, so there's her face. She has no eyebrows, as you can see. All right? Oh, good, now you can see. I couldn't see before. Um, her eyes are all bloodshot and red. And then she's got circles under her eyes. So she's a very simple doll. But you know what? It does a trick. It looks just like the movie Sadako. I've never seen well yeah I have seen I was gonna say I saw the original after seeing the American version so I think of a bunch of people were probably the same way where you know and I can't remember what the name of the girl was in the American version of the ring but there you go she's a creepy looking thing isn't she so I love the way her hair just hangs in her face like that which is like you know a little bit of eye peeking out and I can't wait to start doing my, uh, when I do more of my Dolls Gone Cray Cray vlogs, uh, 
I have a few things in mind to use with her because of the red eyes. I'm sure you'll figure it out or you'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, so that's the Daco. And uh, did I mention how much I got her for? I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, so I got her for $32.99 Canadian. And then with the shipping, uh, it came to $49.98. So just under 50 bucks, which is about what I average pay for dolls when I buy them in uh, the stores when I have been able to find them. You know, like I've paid more for dolls or less for dolls when I went to Fan Expo last year. But yeah, that's about average, but it's way better than the prices I saw. So I had pointed out to people on the, the group on Facebook about the deal. So hopefully some people managed to snag her for $32.99 before they were all sold out because that was the only time I've ever seen her that cheap. So yeah, there you go. I recommend her. She's not very uh, extravagant with her costume or anything like that. But if you like the ring or Ringu and uh, you like, you know, a little girl who drowned to death and, well, who, drowned to death. There's no other way to die. If you're drowning, you obviously are dead. Anyway, yeah, I rambled and I always ruin things and that's the end of that. But there's Sadako and she's going to go back in the bedroom where I have her displayed with her hair just all on her face. There you go. I hope you enjoyed, and sorry it's been a while since I made a vlog, but since I haven't been buying any more dolls, I'm trying to pace myself. So yeah. Oh, and I just almost dropped my camera. So, that's the end of that. I'm surprised the cat was being a good boy. And yeah, so I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching, and please comment, like, and subscribe to my videos, and... Thank you very much. And Sadako says thank you too. If she could talk. Bye.